I've been waiting a few days to film this video because it is that time of the month. Time to get our clothes on. Time to do our nails. I've been wanting to film the whole process of me doing my Gel X nails at home because I've been doing them pretty much all year and I feel like I've gotten better. Definitely have been more experimental with designs. You know, just put my artistic touch on it, I suppose. But every time I sit and do my nails, I'm always in a rush or I'm doing it very last minute before a trip. And so today I decided I'm gonna do it stress-free, try to film as much of it and talk you through the process. I will say though, this is not a tutorial or like a full tutorial that you should should follow. I don't know if I'm doing any of this right, honestly. Everything I've learned is pretty much just from watching tutorials on TikTok, for example. I would say it's a relatively easy process. If I can do it, you can do it. Like I said, I do Gel X nails at home and this is my entire crate of stuff. All of my nail supplies are linked on my Amazon storefront, so I'll definitely have that down below for y'all. Just got in a couple new things yesterday from Amazon, so these new polish colors. I have little rhinestones and then a little pearls. Don't know if we'll do that today. I might do a very simple, simple nail design. Towels, nail files, different nail tools, my light, my removers, literally everything I would possibly need to do my nails. It's just nice to just have it all organized here because then when it's time, I just bring out the box and lay everything out. <gasps> These are so cute. Oh my God, wait, what to do, what to do. Towel here, we'll lay that flat. I actually have two different lamps here. So I have this one, which I use to cure the Gel X nails to my nails. And then this bigger one to seal in all the colors and whatnot. I look on Pinterest a lot for nail inspo, also Instagram. Sometimes I will, you know, replicate a design, but sometimes I'll switch out the colors or sort of make it my own. Let's see. Maybe. I don't know what to do. All right, I think I finally decided what I want to do today. 50 years later, figured it out. I really like the colors going on here and I feel like I have pretty much all of them. And it's just a really simple design on some new nails. Very abstract dots, flowers, squiggles, lines. I feel like I've been doing a lot of French tips lately, which I love. I feel like that's like the best because as it grows out, you can't really tell. I don't know, I feel like this is fitting. I'm going camping, camping, hiking in Yosemite this coming weekend. So I feel like it kind of fits the vibe a little bit. Granola girls will probably keep their nails short, but I'm not a full granola girl. So I'm gonna do my twist and yeah. Yeah, I like this. So my nails right now are literal nubs and I would highly suggest not ripping your Gel X nails off. You should typically soak them off with acetone, but I got a little impatient. Some of my nails did pop off, but some of them I did force. So I have a little bit of damage. For the most part, my nails are still you know, thick, relatively strong, but we're putting in a fresh set over these anyway. So let's get to prep. Cuticle oil. I have some tools here. So that's once I done, I'm gonna do the same thing to this hand. My left hand is literally challenged. Nobody's perfect, hey, but you're perfect for me. All right, we are pretty much ready to go. Actually, I'm gonna smooth. Flex shiner. But when it comes to like using different nail files and buffing on my nails, I don't really know what to do, but I think I'm supposed to smooth out my nails. So I'm using a softer nail file here. Here's the Gel X nail extensions I use. Now I have to go out and pick the nail for each nail. To make it easier, I have it already written, but I don't think that these numbers are accurate. Yeah, I use different numbers now. To go about sizing it, I just take the nail and kind of put it right up against, see if it's good on both sides. That is, that's a good fit. Five. That's pretty good. I would say it's better to have it a little bit too big and then you can always file down the sides, which I sometimes end up having to do. That I might need to file down a little. Yep. I think six is a little too small for my ring finger. Yep. All right. Now I have to customize the shape a little bit of each nail if needed. Sometimes for the thumb one, I need to flatten out bottom and I just want to have it as close to my actual nail bed shape so that it looks the most natural. Oh, no, that's perfect. 
First things I'm putting on my nail are dehydrator, which goes first, and then I have to prime my nails. I also have to put this on the inside of the nail for some reason. These don't come pre-etched. It just gives it a little bit more grit, I wanna say. Dehydrator is going to dehydrate my nails, obviously. Strip it of any oils. Just very quickly go over them. Pretty sure I forgot to do this step the last time I did my nails. I don't know if it made a huge difference or not. Now I'm gonna go in with this Extend Gel. This is like the actual Gel X that's getting cured. A little crusty, I don't know if you can see, but it's Soak Off Soft Gel, and I really like this brand. This part gets a little bit tricky, and this is what this is the hardest thing for me. Sometimes I do a good job of applying the nails, but I kind of just have to pray and hope for the best. What I have to do now is put some of this Extend Gel on the nail. Oh, wait, I have to turn on my little, my little lamp here. Just put a thin coat about halfway up, and then you just take a little extra dot and put it on the very edge here. And getting the perfect amount is crucial because you don't want too much where it oozes out the top, but you don't want too little where it doesn't stick and stay so you line it up on your finger if it's in position you lay it down and then you cure it under the lamp hold it down for 10 15 seconds or so yeah that one probably had too much glue because i can see it from underneath but i'd rather have too much than too little no air bubbles so we are good paint it halfway get a little extra put a dollop right on the edge Flip it over, lay it down, push it right up against the nail. Thank you. Ah. Not bad, not bad. This is about as good as it's gonna get. It is not my best work. This will have to do. First, I have to do a base coat, and then I'm gonna do two coats of this, which is like a clear-ish nude base. I'll do the fun, colorful designs on top of that. base is done. I wish I had a little bit more of an opaque color than this because you can kind of see through the nail, but I'm just going to make sure to line up a design right over it so you can't really see. Now I can start doodling away with all the fun colors. I'm going to use a piece of foil. I'm going to be mostly using these dotting tools that I have. So this, and then I have these very, very skinny brushes. I'm gonna get some nail polish remover ready, pour it into the cap, that way I can dip into here if I wanna change colors. All right, so here's the fun part. We get to doodle away on our little fingers. I started with doing one flower per finger and I feel like this just made sense with the design because then I could add all the little dots and the lines around the flower. A great thing about gel is that once you cure it, it's secured, like you can't erase it, which I guess could be a bad thing too. You definitely have to be careful. Make sure you like what you have on your fingers before curing it. My first layer was just the flowers, cured that. Now I can add stuff around it. And if I don't like how my dots turned out, for example, or my lines, I can remove that without ruining the first layer. Make sure to use regular nail polish remover if you're trying to erase the gel polish because you don't want to use acetone because that might just ruin the actual nail itself. But yeah, I would say that this part is the most consuming part because, you know, you just want to be careful and I want to make sure it looks perfect. So I really take my time with it. I'm pretty sure I was going at this for an hour and a half or more. But I really like how it came together. Did my entire left hand first, sealed that in, and then I moved over to my right. I feel like I've gotten better with using my left hand. Sometimes my manicures turn out better on my right hand than they do on my left. It just takes practice. Once I'm ready to lock it all in, add the top coat and then cure it twice more. Okay. Done. Almost done. Last few steps, I'm gonna wipe everything off with an alcohol wipe. They turn out so good. Last step here cuticle oil. This one is from Sally Hansen. I just put a generous amount on all. And 
done.